fatigue, hormonal imbalances, weight gain, hair loss, low libido, these are just some of the symptoms that show that your body is out of balance yet to this this one essential vitamin that you have to get right in order to experience optimal health. So in today's video, we dive in into the ins and outs of vitamin D to make sure that you dial it in so you can start thriving. Let's get started. Hey, it's Paul and Yulia Tarp here, holistic nutritionist and lifestyle coaches at Rawsome Healthy, helping you create healthy hormones, healthy weight, and the body of your dreams naturally. If you're brand new here, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Now, vitamin D is known as a sunshine vitamin and we need it for our bodies to be healthy. Now, a lot of people around the world live in places where there isn't enough UVB light, which is the light that you need from the sun to make vitamin D. So if you're in North America, for example, you're in Canada, you're in Northern Europe, places like the UK, for example, almost certainly you're not going to get enough vitamin D year round and then that is a problem. Now a lot of the clients who come to work with us have low levels of vitamin D and many of them have extreme low levels of vitamin D and when we work together one of the first things that we ask them to do is to test their vitamin D level so if you don't know what your vitamin D level is if you are not supplementing if you're living in the cold climate 99.9% .9 chance that you are vitamin D deficient and you definitely need to get on top of your vitamin D levels, especially if you are experiencing health imbalances. There is absolutely no way that you can experience optimal health with low vitamin D levels. Now, science is revealing to us more and more how important vitamin D is to our health and to have enough of it in our bodies. There are lots and lots of vitamin D receptors in our bodies and these include places like our brain, our endocrine glands, so all our glands that produce hormones in the body, ovaries, our thyroid gland thyroid for example, glands. yes they're going to be in our muscles as well, lots of different places in our body actually need vitamin D. Including our gut. Including our gut as well. There, there yes. are actually vitamin D receptors in your gut as well, yes, yeah? so imagine having expecting to have healthy function and digestion with low vitamin D levels. Or have a healthy mood when you've got low vitamin D levels and your brain isn't getting enough. And those receptors are really like locks. And the key is when you put the vitamin D into that receptor and it unlocks functions in that cell. And if you haven't got enough vitamin D, then what do you think is going to happen in your body? Then things aren't going to work as well. And this is exactly what we see. And this is what science is now finding out for us. Now, one study actually found that vitamin D levels are important when it comes to your fertility. It is also important when it comes to regulating inflammation in the body. So obviously, if you've got inflammation and you have fertility problems or other hormonal imbalances, you need to deal with the inflammation. Yet, vitamin D is essential in helping you deal with it. It's not the only thing that you need to get right, but it is scientifically, you know, scientifically proven to affect inflammation in your body because it actually helps regulate your immune system yes so by regulating your immune system then the body can get on top of the inflammation and deal with it now another study a year-long study found that women who took higher amounts of vitamin d above normal what they call normal levels found that actually started lowering their estrogen levels and this is really important because when you've got high estrogen levels this can lead to all sorts of health issues and diseases including things like polyps Fibroids, fibroids and even breast cancer as well so it's hugely important that we make sure again that we have enough vitamin d in our bodies another study has found how low vitamin d levels are also linked to immune system dysfunction and in particular autoimmune diseases so we're talking about diseases like ms for example we're talking about hashimoto's. thyroids so hashimoto's graves disease rheumatoid arthritis and when you have low vitamin d levels as we mentioned just earlier, this can affect your immune system and it starts to go out of control and this is when you can develop things like autoimmune diseases. So the next question is how much vitamin D do you need to have in your body in order to be at an optimal level? Now I'll tell you how much you don't need to be at and that is the recommended vitamin D levels that you will see in the mainstream. So that and you will let's see. Talk about, you know, we're talking about the National Institutes of Health in America, for example, and they're telling you the sort of adequate level you want is around 20 nanograms per milliliter of vitamin D. Which you is know, very low. That's, that is low, and that really, let's be honest, it's so out of date. We have so much more information now from science to tell us that it needs to be considerably higher than that. 
and that just isn't enough for Actually our health. Actually, over double higher. So it needs to yeah. be between 50 and 80 nanograms per milliliter. So whatever your uh, uh, different labs have different values. But in terms of nanograms per milliliter, you can translate it into that. So if you are between 50 and 80, you are in a good range and you need to maintain your vitamin D level at that good range. So that means that in the summer, whenever you see the sun and it's hot enough, so the UV level is three and beyond that. So at least three for you to get enough sunshine and also you're, you are standing in the direct sun and half of your body is exposed to the sun. So that means that for, la for us ladies, it's pretty much been in shorts and a short top or a bikini. And for you, gentlemen, exposing my legs, legs exposing my and upper torso. being in a t-shirt yeah. and shorts and making sure again that half of your body is exposed because you're not going to get enough vitamin D levels if you're just exposing your face to the sun and that that's interesting we just uh, talked to one of our clients and she said oh i get plenty of vitamin d i sit down in the garden wearing all the long sleeves and just expose my face to the sun well you're not gonna get enough vitamin d levels if you are just sitting in some bathing in some because not enough of I, your body exactly is exposed to the sunlight exactly it's important to understand as well as the skin on our face is very thin so it's not really a good idea to get lots of sunlight on your face. So I would keep it covered, keep a hat on, and then expose your other parts of your body to safe amounts of sun exposure, because that's really important. You don't want to burn, that's really important. We want safe sun exposure, so do it for shorter durations of time. Like 20 minutes at a exactly, time? Exactly, 15, 20 minutes over, time, over a longer duration, so you gradually build up your body's ability to accept the sunlight. Now the question is, what do you do in the winter when you are not getting sufficient sun exposure, when you are not getting enough UV light for you to receive sufficient amount of vitamin D? Well, you need to supplement with the vitamin D3. So you can get vegan D3 vitamin and supplement with anywhere between two and 4,000 units a day and then keep on monitoring your vitamin D levels. So every four to six months, do a blood test and see where your vitamin D level is at when you are supplementing to make sure that what you are supplementing is sufficient for your body. Generally speaking, two to 4,000 un uh, international units per day of vitamin D should be sufficient. You cannot neglect supplementing with, with vitamin D because then you're gonna run low on vitamin D and we've talked about the risks of having low vitamin D levels. Exactly, so if you that's have not worth it. low vitamin D levels, not only the risk that we talked about your immune system again and you're more open to getting uh, viral infections so you can get the flu more often if you have low vitamin d levels so it's really important for your immune system for your overall health. hormones exactly for, for those hormones we've talked about how it affects your endocrine system and your endocrine system and your thyroid your master gland and then from there all these symptoms crazy symptoms start to develop like hair loss and low libido and fatigue just constant fatigue and weight gain and no matter what you do, you can't seem to get on top of it because you have to get that foundation right. And vitamin D is going to be one of the most important vitamins that you need to get right in your body. So if you are serious about optimizing your hormones and you know that you've got hormones to balance, weight to lose and fatigue to address, as well as probably some autoimmune diseases going on, then join us for a free online masterclass where we will dive into the steps our clients use to reverse their hormonal imbalances, drop 10 to 50 pounds of excess weight in just weeks instead of years, and start thriving again. So the link is here. Go and register, claim yourself a spot, and watch our training class. Thank you so much for joining us Thank for you. this video. And we are going to link this video to another video where we will talk about addressing hormonal imbalances and what you must focus on to start thriving again. See you there. Bye.